if A implies B and B implies C, then A implies C. So the implication A implies C is a consequence of the implications A implies B and B implies C. Let's define this phenomenon formally. So let L be a set of implications. We say that um, A implies B uh, follows, semantically follows, or logically follows or just follows uh, from L if whenever we have a model of L it must also be a model of A implies B. So Z should be a model of A implies B for all subsets Z that are models of L, of all implications from L. And uh, we'll write it down like this, um, L, um, and again we use the same sign as here, So this means that uh, the implication AB follows from L. How do we check if uh, the implication A implies B follows from L without considering all possible subsets of M? Let's define a closure operator that will help us do this. So we define for X, which is a subset of M, L of X as follows. So L is the set of implications on M, X is a subset of M, and L of X is going to be the intersection of all models of L that include X. So we look at all Y's such that X is a subset of Y and uh, Y is a subset of M and Y respects all implications from L. Let me give an example. So suppose, uh, suppose that M is the set of all natural numbers. So M is infinite in this case. And uh, let's say that our implications the set of implications is also infinite. It includes all implications of the form i implies i plus 1, where i is any natural number. So what's L of a single element set containing 0? To answer this question, we need to look at all models of this implication set that contain zero. Every such model must be a set of numbers that satisfies all these implications. Now suppose it have, well, and it must have zero. Because it has zero, and we have an implication that zero implies one, it must also include one. And because L contains implication 1 implies 2, this set must also contain 2. And then it must contain 3 because of the implication 2 implies 3. And so on. So the only model of this set of implications is N itself, the set of all natural numbers. So here we have only one set Y, the set of all natural numbers. And so the intersection is n itself. So here L of 0 is the set of all, all natural numbers. Well, um, for 
flying it, um, we can give a slightly different definition, which is equivalent to this. Um, but in a way, uh, is easier to check, is easier to work with. So we'll do it in two steps. First, we'll define x with the op index l as follows. It will be a set that includes uh, x, and it also includes some additional attributes. So whenever l contains an implication, a implies b, such that a is a subset of x, we include b into this set. So we include b if there is an implication a implies b in l, uh, such that A is a subset of X. And then we can define L of X as follows. We take X, we apply this operator once, and then we apply it again, and again, and again, until we reach some fixed point. That is, until we get a set L of x, such that if we apply this operator to it, we'll get the same set L of x again. So we take x, we take, we apply this operator L, and then we apply it again, and we apply it as long as something changes, as long as we get new attributes here. And once we've reached a fixed point, we're done. So I leave it as an exercise to prove that these two definitions of L of X are in fact equivalent for finite M. And another exercise is to prove that L of X is indeed a closure operator. And I will now prove a statement that shows how we can use L of X to check if A implies B is a consequence of L, if it semantically follows from L. So, the proposition that I'm going to prove is as follows. X implies Y follows from L if and only if Y is a subset of L of X. So let's prove it in one direction first. If x implies y is a consequence of L, then y is a subset of L of x. Assume the opposite. Suppose that y is not a subset of L of x. Uh, well, then, using this definition, we can see that there is a model of L that contains uh, x, but doesn't contain y. So there is a model z, uh, such that z is a model of L. Uh, it includes uh, x, and it doesn't include y. But then, Z violates the implication X implies Y, because it contains X, but it doesn't contain Y. So it's not a model of X implies Y. So we found a model of set L that violates the implication X implies Y. It means that X implies Y doesn't follow from L.
So if y is not a subset of L of x, then x implies y doesn't follow from L. In the other direction, suppose that um, y is in fact a subset of L, of L of x. Um, then for all z uh, such that x is a subset of z and uh, z is a model of L, we have that y is also a model, is also a subset of z. So why so? Uh, y is a subset of L of x, but L of x is an, the intersection of all models of L that contain x. So whenever we take a model z of L that contains x, y must be in it. y must be its subset. So y is a subset of z. But this means that L, uh, that x implies y follows from L, simply by the definition. So we've proved this proposition, and now if we want to check whether x implies y follows from L, we can compute the closure of x on the implications from L and check whether y is a subset of this closure.